Hey Lava fans, it's your boy Lava Guy. Now you guys, normally I would, you see the title, normally I would be like, hey Lava fans, but as you see the title, this would be a story time about the time I got hacked and scammed. Okay guys, so I don't, I don't know where I should begin, like, y'all, I know, Whenever you go on a, a YouTube trying to look up how to recover your account, some people, it looks very scripted. It looks like they rehearsed this over and over. This video is a, it's a story time. I It's not scripted. This is my, my story. And I don't know if it's scripted for other people though, but or maybe they just have really good articulation. I don't know. But I want to be as authentic in the real with you guys on my channel so I honestly I don't know well how about this I'm going to say how I feel okay you guys uh, I first I got scammed then hacked okay now y'all when I got scammed I felt like a damn fool because I am literally I'm raised by the old school the old school they can see things coming a mile away and y'all I'm not gonna lie I did I saw the signs I was asking God please help me make the right decision please help me not to, not to get scammed I was even flipping the coin best two out of three heads yes tails no I kept getting tails but y'all basically the signs were there I chose to ignore them the reason why I chose the reason why I chose to ignore the signs is because y'all we all have this thing called high hopes. And y'all there's nothing wrong with that. And I felt like a damn fool that I let something like this happen to me. I let myself get scammed by this by this lady on Instagram and she hacked my damn account. She convinced me. But y'all I felt like a damn fool, but then, now that I'm being honest with myself, y'all, there's nothing wrong with us taking a chance. There's nothing wrong with us trying things. We are all human beings. We are all human beings at the end of the day, okay? You know? And y'all, we all have this thing called high hopes. We all, some, me, some part of myself told myself that I, like, in the next four hours, I could have this, this amount of money in my account. You feel me? I I was holding on to that hope that something good could really happen, you know, but serves me right. But now I know. So you guys, for those of you out there who's beating yourself up, and I beat myself up a lot though, but I, I realize, I think the money might be gone at this point for me, but I got back into my account. Let the record show, I got back into my Instagram account because it literally took me two to three days, but y'all... Please bear with me, okay? I might be hopping all over the place, though. Like I said, this is not scripted. I am going, I'm telling you guys my story. And, hey, it is what it is. So, y'all, like I said, the money may be going, but I got back into my account, okay? Now, and just know, y'all, y'all not a fool for trying. We are all human beings. Now, I know in the future what to notice and to not do it again. And to listen to the signs that were there. Okay? Now, some of you might come to this channel looking for um, how, to recover your Insta how to recover your Instagram account. I might put in the, in the description down below about... Hmm. About... Um, what where to fast forward to for that session of the video, okay? But bear with me, okay? So let me dive right on into the video, okay? Okay, guys. So here's what happened. I'm on Instagram. One one of my followers and who I follow. I'm not gonna give out her name. But, y'all, little did I know that the person who I follow, let's call this, this let's call this girl, um, Jenny, okay, Jenny, excuse me, y'all, Jenny had like $9,000 in her cash app account, and I'm like, whoa, really? Like, I would like cash app in my account, you know, I would like $9,000 in my account. I looked in the description down below, and she said, if you want to have this amount of money in your account, hit 
Bitcoin, blah, 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 contact such and such. Y'all, I'm going to put... Wow. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just... Now that I think about it, it's... I'm still pissed at the whole situation, though. But, y'all, I'm going to try my best to put the link... I'm going to try to put the screenshot on... On the video. On the screen. But anyway, y'all, so Jenny, little did I know at the time that Jenny got hacked. But because I did not know that, I went to the lady's Instagram account. Okay, y'all, I'm going to put the screenshot right here. Yeah. So, you guys, I am underscore, un underscore, Jessica, underscore, Allen, underscore, underscore. Look, y'all, she... Scammed me and hacked me. So, y'all, let's first start with the step-by-step -step process, okay? So, I DM her. I don't have that screenshot. I DM her, like, how does it work? And, y'all, she literally, she walked me through a step-by-step -step process. Like, literally. <laughs> I, like, she, I got the, I'm just going to show you guys the screenshot. I don't want this video to be long. So you guys, she convinced me to invest $100 in Bit Bitcoin, okay? I purchased the Bitcoin, the money. You guys, when I did it, the she was walking through the steps. Select the main reason you use Bitcoin. It was, if I remember correctly, it was, I, she, had, she told me to click investing. And then, Bitcoin mining. After that, it was enabled. The screenshot. And so, you guys, she convinced me to send her, I guess, $100. The fee, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you guys. And then, y'all, she convinced me to create an account. On Bitcoin Cloud FX, I did. This is the whole screenshot right here. And y'all, forgive me if I'm bouncing all over the place or if it just don't sound as... I don't know. But you guys, see, I invested $100 in Bitcoin Cloud FX. Then, I got... A screenshot from Bitcoin Cloud FX. Here it is. And I did accept I did accept the terms. When I accepted the terms, y'all, I got forty forty three hundred dollars in my Bitcoin account. And y'all, I wanted it, you know. I even screenshot she asked me for my my, she asked me for my cash app at. I mean, I put that there. Cash app, you know. My Bitcoin. And y'all, this is where the $800, $850 comes in. She wanted me to insert $850 in my cash app account. But y'all, for some reason, it kept on saying you are un unable to purchase Bitcoin at this time. Okay. So, y'all, I kept on trying. I kept on, kept on trying. And when Cash App did not work, she tried to get me to download the Bitcoin app. I did it. But y'all, for some reason, I tried to... I tried to... Wait, did I have $300? I don't know. I'm just going to show y'all the screenshot. Maybe I invested 300 or maybe just 850 I don't know. And I had to insert my email address. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Then I got a, ver a verification code. I entered all my information. 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 And y'all, I kept on trying the Bitcoin app, but it still was not working. It, it, it was saying 
there was an error processing the payment with this card. Please try again with a different card. And y'all, I did get an alert from my bank account saying, you know, blank fraud. And I'm like, what the? You can't use your card in the end for this purchase at MoonPay. Oh, the app was called MoonPay. Please select a different pay. So y'all, I kept on trying. So y'all, when that didn't work, I went back to my Cash App. I tried to add the $800 to my Cash App account. It kept on saying, this transfer failed. I kept on, and then y'all, when that, when that didn't work, she got me to go inside of my bank account app and pay her the $850 through Zelle. Screenshot. Y'all, uh, just thinking about this, it is frustrating, it is pissed off, it does piss me off. I want to be honest with y'all and bring light to situations like this. But just thinking about it is just... Okay. Mm. Anyway, y'all forgive me if I might start stumbling or whatever. But yeah, so I'm um, in the Zelle app. Y'all, she kept on telling me to... Let me put the screenshot of our interaction, you know. One second. Okay, guys, so... This is the screenshot of me and her. She said, input $850. I say, does it have to be $850 or can I start small? She said, it's $850. Input $850. And y'all, um, I would show you guys the whole conversation. But unfortunately, my, my dumb self, well, it's not my dumb my dumb self at the time, I did not screenshot our whole conversation. I'm lucky that I just screenshot this, you know? But anyway, as I was saying, I say, does it have to be $850 or can I start small? She says it's $850, input $850. I say, okay. And then she say, send me the screenshot. Then I say, what do you have to gain? She said, you are receiving $4,300 immediately. She was telling me to please calm down. I say, that's a lot of money. Input $850 and send me the screenshot. As you guys can see, I send her the screenshot. Let me go back to find the screenshot I was looking for. Okay, you guys. So, wait. So you guys, she gave me the number to. So you guys, so for me to receive the forty-three hundred dollars, she was telling me to go back to the Bitcoin app, and and to in order to receive the forty-three hundred dollars, go to withdrawals. I went to withdrawals, and my uh, the balance was actually seventy-three hundred dollars. And she said, "Profit of wait, the profit available for a drawer is seventy three hundred dollars." She told me to click on "I have a Bitcoin account." I clicked on it, and then she wanted. She told me to enter the amount that I want to put. I want to have in my Cash App account, so I input it the whole seventy three hundred dollars. And my Bitcoin wallet, I entered my Cash App. I'm not put my Cash App. <laughs> I entered my Cash App at, and then this is the this is the page I came to confirm your withdrawal. I input my email address, and after I did that, it says your withdrawal request is successful. 
it will reflect in the next few minutes. Thank you. But y'all, it still wasn't coming to my account. This is the email address that I got from the support team at Bitcoin. Dear Valid Customer, thanks for trading with Bitcoin Cloud FX. Your trading profit has been successful, successfully verified. We are sending your profit now. Your country policy and Bitcoin regulation enables all customers to pay tax on all Bitcoin profit. We are sending you mm, as your profit and your tax charge is $1,850. Sorry we didn't notify you early. Every country tax fee is not same. So we have to be careful. Once you complete the transaction for the tax, let your trade manager know that she can give you the tax office wallet address to send the to send them the tax fee. The tax fee. Let us know when you do that so we can credit you immediately. Thanks for your understanding. So you guys, she already got the eight hundred and fifty dollars. You know she told me the number to send the money to through Zelle and then y'all for me I st the money wasn't coming to my account so what I did I was still in conversation with this lady she convinced me to go into my Instagram account I don't know she convinced me to go into my Instagram account and this is when I just I get hacked out of my Instagram account so she convinced me to go to my personal settings in Instagram and change my email address. This is the email address that she told me to insert Bitcoin Cloud FX 34456 at gmail.com. So and y'all she what she told me at the time and I do remember correctly, she said that I, I was only going to change my email address. Um just for like I guess five to ten seconds and then change it back. That's where something told me that it might have, and I may I might have gotten hacked. I I was dumb. Something told me that I might I might have got hacked. I will oh I can't talk. Some something told me that I might get hacked. So what I did I after I changed, you know, the email address, I quickly changed it back to my email address. Which is the you know lava guy thing, and let me show you guys the email address about you know about me changing my email. So you guys, this is the email address. Okay, hi hey lg dot fireflame. The email on your account was changed from mm, on this time to your new email. Mm -mm -mm. And y'all, when I said I was literally doing everything in my power to change it back, I don't know, y'all. I think, y'all, normally, um, whenever something like this happens, Instagram does send you some kind of like option where you can reverse it. But now that I look back on it, I think that the scammer and hacker was so good at what she does that she may have went into my my email address and deleted the reverse option. That's why I didn't see it at all. But there was something in my account that kept on saying I can't secure my account. Okay, here we go, you guys. So I try my best to remove the account from. The I try my best to remove the bit the Bitcoin FX email address and change it back to my email address. But little was it too late. Well, this is the screenshot. If you didn't remove your email address, you can secure it here. I kept on pressing secure, secure my email, but it kept on notifying me to this. It kept on notifying me to Instagram Help Center. My account got hacked. Y'all, when I say I was literally doing everything within my being to secure this account, I 
I was looking through the whole, I'm not going to, I was trying everything to get back into my account. But anyway, y'all, the person, the scammer, she completely took over my Instagram account for two to three days, y'all. You guys, I literally, I had to create another Instagram account. Telling people, well, people that already follow me on the uh, on the account that she hacked, I was calling them because some people, some of my followers, I have their their numbers. I was saying, y'all, if y'all see anything about money in my account, do not believe it. Like, do not believe it. I will put the screenshots up, but I'm not gonna do that, okay? For like the whole me having interactions with my contact information, you know, with the people who follow me. So, y'all, after. My account got hacked. I was freaking out, y'all. I was like, what the? No, no. Not, I'm like, not only did I get scammed, but I got hacked in the same day. I was so, I was pissed. I was so freaking mad, y'all. Ooh, and y'all, if y'all knew that I was going from X, X, Y, and Z, like, I was retracing my step. I was, I was doing everything within my being to get my account back y'all not only was the money gone but my account <sighs> let me calm down no y'all it's, it's, it's a lot though y'all for real i'm trying to be as authentic with y'all and not lie about this y'all like i literally i can't make this shit up i can't um let me see but anyway, y'all, uh, after, uh, while I don't, hmm, while I was, when I, my account got hacked, you guys, I was sending people pe that if y'all see anything within my account that I got hacked, y'all, don't believe it. Don't believe it. I'm going to try to put one screenshot of it up, okay, about the, about me sending an email for my other, for my new account. To people that I already follow, say if y'all see anything from my account, don't believe it or whatever and whatnot. But y'all, I have a personal friend. Let's call him. I don't want to give his name out. Let's call him Tom, okay? So y'all. Well, I got two friends. Tom, let me see. Tom and I don't know. Sam, yes, Tom and Sam, okay? So you guys, Tom, I emailed Tom, no, my bad, I texted Tom, wait, what, where is this dude information? Okay. Okay, boom, okay, boom. So you guys, I contacted Tom Saying, I'm not sure if I can put, I'm not going to put our, I might put our conversation up, who knows, but if, I'm going to have to talk to him later on, but if he says that I can't put it up, then I'm just going to, I'm going to say I'm going to edit it, okay? But y'all, the conversate, but if I do put the screenshot up, the, um, the interaction I had with time was, was, if you see any weird thing on my Instagram, I got hacked. He he tells me K. Okay. Then I say, hey, and then blah blah blah. Okay. Okay, then Tom Insta my bad. Why I keep saying Instagram? Tom texts me the day after saying, Hey, is that Bitcoin Wells Fargo legit? I've been seeing it, but I don't want to trust that. I tell him, Bitcoin, don't trust it. And then he texts me, oh, that's the, that's the suspect stuff you were telling me earlier. And I say, yeah. Now, I'm going to put this screenshot up somewhere. You guys, this is the, this photo right here is, you know, basically me getting hacked though. She, she says, this is my current withdrawal to my Wells Fargo's account. It's real, guys. Don't miss out on this. Y'all, this is not, y'all, the, the scammer. She's in my account. I'm, now I'm hacked out of my account. 
doing everything on my end to get it back and she's doing this okay and then Tom tells me that's so sad for scammers to do that to people I'm telling Tom please share that I have gotten hacked I have gotten hacked please share and he he says thumbs up you know and that's our interaction that's my interaction with Tom. Now let me show you my interaction with what Sam. Yes, with Sam. And I'm going to see if I can put our interaction up.